what is good everybody welcome back to another unboxing video so today i'm going to be reviewing the new first time in the line logan paul action figure so i already cracked the tape right here so that it's just easy you pull down the tab and get this open and there we go now your first impression that you're getting is the actual action figure there's no window here like all the others you can immediately feel it so yeah i'm gonna quickly get my knife so i can okay and then on the side over here it says logan in a very dark shade it's hard to see on camera but my light is catching it and then on the other side paul um, and right here is the Maverick logo company that he kind of makes. So, now let's try to get this out of here without missing anything. Oh. Okay, so here it is on the plastic. Comes with, you're seeing two diff four different arms, three different head scans, and three different hands. So, yeah, let's take it out of here and see what it's all about. Now, I've been waiting about like seven months-ish to get this, and the glasses, sunglasses are removable, so there's a good look at that. Next, I'll pop out all the different head scans. This one is on the figure, so let's get the other two out. So personally, I, uh, here, hang on, let me take off the head of the, that's on the figure. So here's all three of the head scans. I've been hearing a lot of people say that their favorite expression is the tongue out one. Uh, in my opinion, I like the yelling expression because it just matches him. Now this is the regular Logan Paul. It, it looks exactly like him. It fits for me. It's perfect. Um, the head headband does not come off. You can pull up the hair, and it says Paul underneath it. Uh, it doesn't come off, luckily, like a lot of people love it, because you know how much that thing would be falling off. Now, um, this is, uh, his WrestleMania 38 gear whenever he teamed up with The Miz and took out the Mysterios, and ended up winning the match. On the back of the box, you can... Pause the video, feel free to read that right now. And all of his info is right here. He is from Westlake, Ohio. His finisher is the frog splash. He's six foot two. Uh, so yeah, right here you got a pro product shot of the figure doing a frog splash. And then here is this action shot of the talent himself at WrestleMania 38. Now I know that curb stomp uh, city decals are selling stickers to go on his Pokemon card, which can fit on to his neck really easily and then pop up on any head scan you want. So, yeah. Now, the arms. For the other ones, it's easy to pop out. Just get that out of there. And then go. For taking off the jacket, I do recommend taking off both arms while you're doing that because it just makes it much easier to do that so here we go now here's the jacket um i do i will probably get a little bit annoyed with the hood not being being able to come up so yeah but that's my only like flaw with this besides that everything is pretty good and then the other arms you can take out of the plastic and it's it easy to pop out. And, oh wow, these are hard to break. Oh, yeah. uh, it's pretty hard to 
get it to bend the elbows, but I was able to break it. So super easy. Just pop in the arms that you want. Um, so yeah. These ones, the entrance arms, if you will, because this is his jacket. And all of this you can feel super good and got some streamers hanging off here. Another two streamers right there. It did come with the open mic hand right there. So, and then popping on the other arm. It's pretty easy to do. He's got the butterfly joints like all of the other ultimates. Here, hang on, I'm gonna pop on a head because that just kind of is weird showing the camera that without any arms or, no, sorry, any heads, excuse me, or or hands. So I'm gonna take out the other hands. You are getting three different hands here, which are some uh, open mic hands if you wanna cut a promo or something, or um, fist hand to beat someone up. Um, and then, finally, you can never go wrong with pointing hands. You can point at somebody or you can like, yeah. So it comes with three different interchangeable hands. All great, great ones that we've seen in the past for other figures. And yeah, so I'm going to be popping on the mic open hands for him. Super easy, once again, just push it in there. And what really annoys me um, is he didn't wear any wrist tape. He does now, but his debut match, which was this match, um, he didn't wear any wrist tape um, or like gloves or gauntlets or anything like that, which bothers a lot of people so yeah um but that's okay it just kind of makes the figure look a little bit plain jane like that and then getting into the actual figure you it got the it has the ultimate edition uh torso so you're gonna get that and then once again the butterfly joints super good if you are wondering yes his legs which other people are happy with it, if you will, um, but I'm not a huge fan of legs popping down here. It just makes the figure look cheap, and I don't, I'm not a huge fan because, oh, I, oh, geez, I always get nervous with it. It could break, but I've never had the experience. Um, you are getting the Ultimate Edition toes articulation, so right here, his toes do bend. Oh, that's really stiff, but I was able to break it, so... And this is similar, like, he didn't wear the exact thing at SummerSlam and Crown Jewel, but it's similar to those matches. But, once again, this is WrestleMania 38 gear. So, yeah, you can put on the sunglasses and anything you want, really. So, super easy. I think it fits the head well. You can put it on any other action figure. I'm assuming it fits really well. So, yeah, um... Then getting into the head scans, the first one is the one that came on the figure, which is a closed mouth, no smiling, no anything with this one. You can, once again, pick up the hair and it says Paul, um, kind of hard to see. There we go. Um, and then the next one is the tongue out expression, uh, a favorite of many, of many, excuse me. Um, and yeah. And then lastly, you have his like, yelling expression head um so yeah this is my favorite one uh, i think it looks great like everything the the beard the mullet that he has going on the headband everything looks so good on all three heads so yeah and then getting into the jacket if is it just me or does yellow look so good on an action figure i think so um these arms once again i already told you like you can feel all this the pins are in there uh yeah you got some streamers more streamers hanging down on the wrist so pretty cool there getting into his pokemon card uh he doesn't have the po like the card that was worth i think two million dollars or something like that 
um, and uh, it doesn't have uh, the Pokemon card on there for copyright reasons, but once again, like I said in the beginning of the video, Curb Stomp City decals are selling some uh, super cheap prices for stickers of it. And if you're curious, this is the box, the shipper box that all of that comes in. So yeah. And then once again, inside of the box, you're just getting some normal yellow with his Maverick logo. And yeah, if you want to, you can like post the action figure inside of here, which I'll probably be doing. So yeah, that is basically just a review for the Logan Paul action figure. Subscribe for more.